Today I'm going to tie a uh, nymph pattern. I'm going to use the Daiichi curved hook 1160. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There it is. It's a Daiichi 1160 curved hook. I like to use these because they give more of a appearance of, of it being alive, being bent like it's squirming. Um, I'm going to use some bead chain eyes on it to get it to, to sink instead of using regular lead. Um, I've got some unit thread, six hot. I'm going to tie in for the body. I'm going to take some bead, bead eyes. These are just chain, little bead chains that you can get at the hardware store or any craft shop. You can get different sizes. They come in really handy for this. I just buy a length of it and then just cut them into individual pieces. But this is good good pattern to use when the water isn't that deep, when it's two or three feet deep. It's not that fast, you can get it down to the bottom without any additional weight. But if you're going to fish deeper water then you can always put, wrap some lead around it. And I think I'll use some copper wire for the uh, rib like I'd like to use these in the spring these kind of nymph patterns work really well especially when the very beginning of the season when trout are hungry they're they're looking for things to eat as the weather gets better bug activity increases and they go on the prowl, hopefully. Got some goose biots here for a tail. Just got two of them. I'm going to match them up so that they're splayed out. And then just get an idea of the length I want. Let me use a little wax. I want to make a nice tapered body if I can. Gee, let's use some brown, some tan. Just using some life cycle caddis dubbing. <laughs> Excuse my uh, handling of this thing. Yeah, I can't get this straight here. Here we go. Just pinch it on. And see if we can make a nice tapered body to it. Yeah. 
go. And just wrap the ribs around. In the wing case, I'm going to use some peacock curls. I'm going to get three or four of them and fold them in half, which will double the amount. And just I'm on just behind the eye and then bring it back to where you want to start the shell casing and take a little bit more dubbing I'm going to pick out this dubbing for the legs so I won't have to tie anything else in. And a little bit more. And just bring the one case over, pinch it, a couple of wraps down, a couple of wraps underneath. Cut it flash. Do a little whip finish or half hitch or whatever you want to call it. There we go. And just take a little brush. There we go. Dub out some legs. <laughs> 